mm -hmm. acting. And that's, yes. that's my biggest issue when these stories break is, one, how do we get good people in these jobs? And it's getting tougher and tougher when you're just firing people. Well, you need, the, uh, you need better, qualified people. Better person. Um, mm -hmm. But two, two uh -huh. of the big things that he promised, he hasn't gotten done. And I think it's mm -hmm. a real insecurity, the border wall. And then, obviously, more people coming over the border, which we are seeing now in numbers that we haven't seen in years. As much as people don't like Kirsten uh, Nielsen, and she'll always be remembered for the separation of families, yeah. it's not her fault that we're seeing these numbers come in. A lot of them have to do with the policies. A lot of them have to do with what's going on in their countries mm -hmm. um, and the lack of support from Mexico. It's a much bigger problem. Well, but to just shoo her out and expect that someone like Stephen Miller or someone that's going to be tougher is going to solve the problem. I don't know the what they're going to do the, to these kids. What, what's fascinating to me is that um, I, I believe she sold her soul because she did become the face of separating babies from their parents. We now know that it's going to take about two years to even find out the true extent of this horror, uh, you know, because thousands of children were separated from their families. What I don't understand is uh, FBI Director Christopher Wray, he testified that homegrown white supremacist extremists pose the biggest threat to U.S. security, despite True. President Trump's indications to the contrary. But they like President Trump. President Trump seems to keep on that's saying... His, that's his constituents. Yes, but President Trump keeps on saying that these people from Mexico, mm -hmm. from Nicaragua, from El Salvador are the biggest threat to U.S. security. No, those aren't the biggest threats. No. The biggest threats are our own homegrown white supremacists that are threatening mm -hmm. our right. security. I and I just don't understand why he's not concentrating on that. Yeah. 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 Not yeah. the yeah. thousands of people. Because he knows that oh. that's not going to work with his base. That's well, I think it's important to separate a lot of different things. I'm from a border state, and immigration is always ground zero for where these conversations are happening. Um, President Obama's DHS Secretary Jay Johnson said, we are truly in a crisis. There were 4,000 apprehensions in a single day. I know that 1,000 overwhelms the system, and I can't even begin to imagine what the 4,000 a day looks like. Last month alone, we had 100,000 migrants that were apprehended at the southwestern border. That's the highest number in over a decade. So there is a crisis at the border. How to deal with it is where the, the conversation right. goes one way or the other. Right. He ran meat and potatoes on the economy mm -hmm. and immigration. As you said, mm -hmm. he has not fulfilled some of these promises that he has made. What I think is interesting is Lou Dobbs said two weeks ago that he wanted Kirsten Nielsen to be fired. He said Kirsten Nielsen is flailing and her department appears utterly paralyzed under ineffectual leadership. So the question, too, is if people like Lou Dobbs and Laura Ingram are dictating policy mm -hmm. and who has a job in the White House and who mm -hmm. doesn't, at this point, why don't you just make Lou Dobbs the person in charge of this since this is the person it seems mm -hmm. that you are listening to when it comes well, to this. That being said, just one question. more thing. Yeah. This is a hard line issue for people who live in border states. Uh -huh. Many friends of mine, this is the number one and only issue. And if we sit here and act like there isn't a crisis, that it's just, it's crazy people living in border states that think that there's a crisis at but a like, winning like I ticket just for said, Trump Like I just forward. said, this guy who's coming in wants to help those countries. That's mm -hmm. the way to solve the problem. Keep them there happy or whatever. Solve them. Give them a house. Give them food. Help them. Help their mm -hmm. children. Give a Stop Nicaragua. A, Stop the house. crime rates. Well, we've had a I'm bunch of liberal guests helping. who do not Hold want on. to send in aid I at all. I listen to you. Let me just mm -hmm. finish. <laughs> yeah, part of your job is to listen to me. <laughs> okay, so here's the deal. Here's what's, here's what's not going to happen today. We're not going to do this. Everybody gets a conversation piece. Everybody gets to say their piece. And we don't need to comment if we don't like what we're hearing. Just let folks talk. Yeah. So finish what you're saying. I forgot what it was now. All right. I think we can all agree, though, that the president being able to take responsibility for where we are, you are commander in chief, and mm -hmm. just putting the blame on other people and saying it's their fault and firing one after the other, that doesn't solve the problem. Looking in the mirror and saying, you know what, I'm in charge, I'm on top, I've got to take some responsibility for what's going on. And in I country. also wish he would stop demonizing these people that are coming here for a better life, that are coming here for safety, that are coming here for asylum. And those people that are here that are undocumented, that are paying taxes, that are paying, uh, uh, you know, that, that are making this country, I think, in many ways, a better, a much better. To the that was the point I was going to make. So to the asylum point, yeah. these people have the right to come here and seek asylum, correct? Yes, they do. She was fired, according to what I just saw, right. or left, because she was going to not do that, not say to them, you can't come in. And he was annoyed with her because she didn't want to break right. the law. Well, let's, yeah. let's right? tell you yes. this yes. thing. You know, the, he said the, the country is full. <clears throat> he so did that's, say that. Yes, yes he, he said did. the country is full. <laughs> yeah, he did. So... 
If you're pregnant, <laughs> where do I go? We'll be right back with more hot topics. Still ahead, point of no return. The White House acting chief of staff says they will never release President Trump's tax return. Will Democrats make him pay the price on the campaign trail?